Hello friends, welcome back. The next important topic as a part of data analysis in Microsoft Excel that we are going to learn today is related to regression analysis. There are two important types of regression analysis that we can perform into the Microsoft Excel. The first one is called as a linear regression analysis or also called as ordinary least square regression. And the second type is non-linear regression analysis. In this video, we are going to understand ordinary least square regression or linear regression analysis in detail with the help of practical example. So let's begin. Let's first start with the understanding of regression analysis. What is this regression analysis? Regression analysis investigates and models the relationship between a response variable and one or more predictors. Here, response variable is also called as output variable or key process output variable in terms of statistical terms. Whereas the predictors are also called as factors or key process input variables. The regression analysis is one of the most important tools as a part of analyze phase into Six Sigma implementation. For example, during the correlation study we had seen, there is a strong correlation between the ice cream cell and temperature of the day. And if you want to identify what kind of relationship they are having, if you want to formulate the equation that is explaining variation into the ice cream cell with respect to the temperature in degree Celsius, then we are going to use the regression analysis. In this example, we are getting the regression equation as y is equal to 30.088x minus 159.47. That means if you know the value of x at any point of time, we can calculate the value of y. Please don't worry. We are going into the detail to understand how this regression equation is formulated and what is the interpretation of it. Before to take the example and perform this regression analysis into the Microsoft Excel, please understand what are the types of regression analysis. The first type is, as I already explained into the introduction part, it is the ordinary least square regression. This is the part that we are going to learn today. When to use this ordinary least square regression analysis? This type of regression analysis is used when your response variable is continuous and you want to see a linear relationship in coefficient. That's why it is also called as linear regression analysis. If you can see the picture on the right hand side, there is a response and predictor and we are interested to identify the linear relationship between these two variables. The estimated equation also called as a regression equation is calculated by determining the equation that minimizes the sum of square distances between the samples data points and the values predicted by the equation. I will explain that in detail once we go for the example. The example of temperature and ice cream cell that we had seen during the correlation study was for the ordinary least square regression analysis. And we are going to continue the same example for better clarity and also to understand the relationship between correlation and regression. This linear regression analysis or ordinary least square regression analysis is the most common method to use for continuous variable response. And the second type of regression analysis is the non-linear regression analysis. As the name indicates, in this type of regression analysis, we are going into the detail to identify what kind of relationship between the variables. In this case, we are not just interested to identify the linear relationship between variables, but the more detailed relationship between them. Use non-linear regression analysis when you cannot adequately model the relationship with linear parameters. Now the next important concept that we need to understand into the regression analysis before to take the example is the coefficient of determination. This is the square of correlation coefficient that we had seen into the correlation study. This is indicated by R square and also called as coefficient of determination. R square is always positive irrespective of the sign of R because it is a square term. For a perfect linear relation, R square is equal to 1 and if there is no correlation then R square is equal to 0. This coefficient of determination is important metric that we need to understand and that can be calculated by using this formula. R square is equal to 1 minus summation goes from i is equal to 1 to n yi minus y cap bracket square divided by summation goes from i is equal to 1 to n yi minus y bar bracket square. If you see this equation carefully, there is only difference into the second term in numerator and denominator. 
The numerator in the second term is the difference between the observed and predicted values of y, whereas the denominator is the difference between each observed value and average y. If we can remember the example that we had seen into the correlation study of temperature versus ice cream cell, we had seen the value of r was 0.96. And in this case, if we make the square of this term, we are getting r square as 0.9216. What is the interpretation of this value? Let's see that in detail. Temperature can explain 92.16% of the variation into the ice cream cells. The remaining 7.84% variation into the ice cream cell is not explained by the temperature. Now, what are the factors that is explaining this 7.84% of variation? That can be other factors such as taste of the ice cream cell, price of the ice cream cell or behavior of the salesperson. So there can be the other factors which are contributing as 7.84% into the variation of ice cream cell. That means coefficient of determination indicates how much variation into the response variable that will be explained by its predictors. Now there can be the question in your mind when to use R and when to use the R square. So here is the answer for your question. If the strength and direction of linear relationship should be presented, then correlation coefficient or R is the correct statistic. But if the proportion of explained variances should be presented, then coefficient of determination that is R square is the correct statistic. So depending on intent that you want to draw from the analysis, please use R or R square. This is just an introduction part to perform the linear regression analysis. Now let's take an example and understand how we can perform this linear regression analysis into the Microsoft Excel. Example for ordinary least square regression in Excel. Let's continue with the same example of temperature of the day and ice cream sales to understand the regression analysis in Microsoft Excel and how to interpret the summary output. So this is the data for temperature in degree Celsius in one column and ice cream sales in dollar into the second column. Now let's copy this data to the Microsoft Excel and perform this regression analysis. This is the data that we have copied. Now please follow the procedure. Go to the data tab. After that, we need to select this data analysis option. Now, once this data analysis option is selected, we can see various options or various tools that we can see here. As we are interested into the regression analysis, please scroll down and select this regression option. After that, click OK. Now, the regression analysis window will be open. Here, we need to mention what is our input for Y and what is our input for X. Is. Y is nothing but our response. So, please click on this arrow and select the column for ice cream sales. Make okay, enter. Then, we need to mention what is our predictor. Please click on this arrow and select the data for temperature in degree Celsius. Make okay, enter. Now, if you can see, for both of these columns, we are having the labels into the first row. So please check this option as labels. Please select the confidence level as 95%. In output options, we can select any one of these options. Let's keep the default selection of new worksheet ply as it is. After that, for residuals, we are having the multiple options. Let's select only the line fit plot at this point of time, as we want to see how we can form this regression equation and how we can identify this R square value. Then click OK. Once you click on this OK, we will be getting the results for regression analysis in detail. That indicates the summary output and which consists of multiple elements. The first one is we can say is a regression statistics. The second one is ANOVA and third one is a residual output. We are also getting the results in the form of graph, which is indicating temperature in degree Celsius line fit plot. Now let's understand the interpretation of these results in detail. For easy understanding of results, let's do the formatting of it so that we can understand everything in detail. Now let's talk about the first section into the summary output, which is regression statistics. In regression statistics, we can see there is a value for R square and R square adjusted. Both of these values are more than 90%, which indicates that there is a significant relationship between ice cream cell and temperature of the day. Let me explain in short what is the difference between this R square and R square adjusted. R square value increases as we are going to add the number of predictors to your regression model, irrespective of whether that predictor is significant or not. 
but in case of adjusted r square value it will increase only if the added predictor is significant we can also see standard error and number of observations are also listed here the second element of this summary output is the anova table which indicates that whether our regression model is significant or not in this example we can see for the regression the significance f value is 0.0000 which is less than the significance level of 0.05 which is indicating that the regression is significant the regression is significant means there is a significant relationship between your response and the predictors this significance f is calculated by using formula i will explain that formula in some time next section of this anova table is we can see there is intercept and temperature in degree celsius so we can also see what are the coefficients for this intercept and temperature the coefficients for the intercept and the predictors indicates regression equation we can clearly see that equation on this graph which is y is equal to 30.088 x minus 159.47 so here 30.088 is nothing but the coefficient for temperature and minus 159.47 is nothing but the coefficient for intercept in next step if you look at the p values for the intercept and the predictor that is the temperature of the day both of these p values are less than 0.05 again that is indicating that both of these intercept and the predictor that is temperature of the day are significant the third element of this summary output is the residual output the first column into the residual output is the predicted ice cream cell by using these values we have plotted the regression line the second column into this residual output is the residuals and that is nothing but the difference between the actual cell minus predicted cell these residuals are calculated for each data point and the regression line that we had seen has the lowest sum of squares for these residuals now let's go to the last part of this regression analysis which is the graphical output here we can see into this graph we get both the regression equation and r square value it is again indicating the same results in the form of graphical format now let's see how we can show this regression equation and coefficient of determination value into this regression line please follow the procedure for this purpose let's go to the same example that we have performed so we have got this graph which is indicating that temperature in degree celsius line fit plot now we can see there are two types of values that we can see here the blue dots indicates the actual values in ice cream cell whereas this orange dot indicates predicted ice cream cell values let's click on any one of this orange dot and make a right click once you make a right click then we need to select the option of add trend line as soon as we select this option we can see the linear regression line which has appeared there scroll little bit lower and after that we can see there are two options display equation on chart and display r squared value on chart as soon as we select these two options we can see we got both of these values regression equation as well as r square onto the graph now let me show you the formulas that we have used into this anova table this slide indicates all the formulas that are used for calculation of various metrics into this regression anova here we can see the first term is the sum of squares the second one is the degrees of freedom the third one is mean of squares the fourth one is a f how we can calculate the f value and how we can calculate the f critical value so we can use the f inverse right tail probability to calculate this f critical in that we are going to use the significance level of 0.05 degrees of freedom for the regression model and the degrees of freedom for the error term based on the value of this f critical and f calculated we can calculate the significance here which is calculated by using the formula f distribution right tail probability into bracket f value which is calculated degrees of freedom for the regression comma degrees of freedom for the error term bracket complete if this value is less than 0.05 then we can see the regression is significant in our example we had seen the significance f is coming as 0.0000 which is less than 0.05 indicating that the regression is significant in this example 
the r square that is a coefficient of determination is calculated by using this formula r square is equal to sum of squares due to regression divided by sum of squares total as the scope of this video was to explain how we can perform the ordinary least square regression analysis into the microsoft excel so i am not going into the detail of these formulas if you want to learn in detail how we can calculate the correlation coefficient then coefficient of determination by using this formula as well as how the each term into the regression analysis ANOVA is calculated, you can download this Excel template by using the link into the description section. This is all about ordinary least square regression or linear regression analysis into this Microsoft Excel. Let's see another important topic into the next video. At the end of this video, if you found this information useful, then please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to learn Lean Six Sigma and Minitab most effectively and practically, then please visit at vijayasabe.co slash join or successfulcareerhub.com slash courses. One more important thing, if you want to support me or appreciate my efforts, you can also join my YouTube channel by clicking the join button at my YouTube channel. By joining this YouTube channel, you are not only supporting me, but also getting an access to the perks that can help you in your career goal. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.